everybody what's up circus here coming at you with a kind of an update to the community video uh recently there's been some changes with other tournaments in the community where they've switched away from a side deck format a lot of people have been asking us hey are you guys gonna be doing that and the short answer is no and i brought kamel in to kind of talk about that um the i guess what's the main thing there was a there was a change right to the replay system what was the basic change yeah, so the basic change to the replay system was that when you watch replays, you're usually able to view the hand of the player on the bottom, but now their hand is no longer visible whenever you watch a replay anywhere except for a street replay. Okay, so if uh, someone's suspected of cheating, right, you, you would call a moderator, and would they view replays from both sides? Is that what they would do? Well, the thing is, you cannot guarantee that you'll get replays from both sides depending on how many duels were played already. So you kind of just have to look at whatever replays are there and hope that the offender is the offender's hand is visible. If you really want okay. the best catching them. Yeah. Cause so where, where would they go to get the replays just in the dual room itself? Yeah. They go to the smash GG match and chat then, and then the dual room and then replays. Okay. So, and then who's usually on the bottom, the person that wins that is no longer guaranteed so it's just random now it's random yeah so if there's uh the game hopefully the guy would be on the bottom and then hopefully you could see their hand as of now yes replays have become very ineffective as of now this is the second update it's made them even less effective at uh catching cheaters right so even if you could see their hand the likelihood of the offender being on the bottom is a 50 50 anyways. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to understand this. So there's a 50 50 shot there on the bottom. So you could see their hand. What's the likelihood that you're going to see the, the cheating taking place? Well, let's just say they're playing a 20 card deck. You mm -hmm. open four cards. Let's say you keep playing cards until turn 10, you draw six cards, half your deck four cards in your hand and you didn't play the cards let's say like at the end of the 10 turns you still have four cards in your hand that's four more cards than the cards that they play that you didn't that you would see that now you don't get to see so I, that's basically the difference okay and is that enough to change do you feel that's enough to change the format more um no i don't i do not think so and why is that i mean uh i've I've known you for a little while. I, I think you've hosted a few tournaments in the time that we've known each other. Um, when we first met, you were doing the Pharaoh's Cash Tournament. You were the, the head organizer, I guess, of that, right? And then yeah. you moved into organizing battle phases, and we're at, what, like 7,000 of those now? So, uh, no, we're at, like, 139. So you've got a couple hundred tournaments on your, on your belt, and you've moderated a lot of them. How many times have you seen... Uh, like do, watching a, a replay where it's like you caught them red-handed by watching a replay where you could see their hand. Uh, so like after two and a half years, I can only think of four or five times off the back of my hand of times that I've caught someone using a illegally side deck card in their hand in a replay. And that will, all those five times were before they made it, it was a 50-50. So those were all I was guaranteed to know if they were cheating. So after okay. 50, 50 who knows? I definitely would not have been able to tell. So, so now I've moderated a few times, and most of the time, you know, I'll check mod chat too, what's going on. Usually when we get someone cheating, it's uh, their opponents reporting them, right? And right. Uh, replays usually don't come into, into play, I guess, right? Usually we're seeing screenshots submitted by... Uh, uh, their opponent who's saying, hey, my opponent's cheating. Here's a screenshot. Now, a lot of people have been bringing up the, the fact that are the screenshots legit? Couldn't someone have a faked screenshot ahead of time? Um, that, that seems a little... Well, actually, you couldn't. Now you can't because in Duel Links now, they place... You may have missed it, but if you duel, there's a little itty bitty nameplate for you and your opponent in the top and bottom. So, oh, okay. In fact, if you take a screenshot during a tournament, we will know that it's real. So, so let's say you suspect um, your opponent. Let's say they're playing too many system down. I'm just pulling that card out of my right. yep. out of the air. Let's say uh, 
they may they of course they don't main deck, but let's just say they main deck one, but they snuck a second one in. Um, you can like pull up their graveyard and take a screenshot. Let's say they they just played one and they have one in the grave, or they have both in the grave. You could pull up the graveyard and take a screenshot. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we can catch the ones like where they play both the cards, right? Like they play a system down, then they play a system down again. What can't we catch then if the if we can't see their hands? Right, so the people that we can't catch are the people that really sit on multiple copies of the illegally side decked card in one hand, in their hand, or they, like you said, they play multiple copies, but they only ever play one, but they're playing it to uh, for the ability to see them, see it more often. So they may see it multiple times, but they're only going to play it once because they know that they know they're going to be sus if they play it any more times. So. Isn't that kind of handi- handicapping yourself, though, in the process? You're, you're basically drawing a dead card? Yeah, I mean, now, you, you know... I mean, like I guess that? the card might be so good that it's worth yeah. handicapping yourself. Well, you, you, if you're cheating, you're counting on the fact that if you see this card, the first time you see it, you're going to end the duel. So that's why you're doing it. You're not, you're not thinking, mm-hmm. I'm going to be still playing the duel after I see two system down. You know, you're hoping that, you know, you would have destroyed car couriers already by then okay so i guess so let's say you get rid of side decks okay yeah. um i would i would suppose that you'd have a rule like you can't leave the table because if you leave the table it's like hey where are you going man there's no mm-hmm. reason to leave the table we're not siding here so you gotta stay on the table so something yeah okay yeah so that is a thing as well there's gonna have right. to be a rule implemented for that but something that just hit me right what's um, that if you get rid of side decks I think that that will bring about a new form of cheating, right? Uh, I think people will start main decking those blatant side deck cards like System Down, Poisonous Winds, and then they'll start doing what the smart cheaters are doing and just putting in three copies and only playing one. I think and I think that's going to change. What do you mean, putting in three copies but playing one? Oh, so like, okay, right. that was kind of the point I was going to make. Could I like... Because I know people talk in tournaments, and they probably talk in the, not in the gen chat or whatever, but they're probably sending messages to their friends and stuff like, "Hey, I just played Kamel. He's playing Kara Curry. Just so you know, so you might just, yeah. in between matches decide to put three cards in and only play one." Yep, yep. In between matches, you could totally do it if you're seeing multiple. If you're seeing a ton of stuff, as long as your deck list is kind of like you know can incorporate like a lot of different side deck or you know general cards you can totally manipulate the numbers of them uh in the main deck in the one deck format okay so So i guess it doesn't eliminate cheating altogether and i guess i i applaud the idea of trying to get rid of cheating in all its forms but like we were saying before um i guess we feel that there's still ways to manipulate the system. This isn't going to completely eliminate it. Um, and the amount of times that we've caught people cheating in this way is very small. So those are reasons we don't feel that it's enough to completely change the format because the feedback we get from the people that play in our tournaments is that they really like the side deck format. Right. Yeah. And always, you know, that's why we stress so much. Like you have to take responsibility for your own tournament run. So that's why we always stress it to always call a moderator always always even if you have the hintest doubt that your opponent is not playing you know honorably you always call a moderator they come in they take one minute and they deal with it they do a deck check it takes 30 seconds Mm -hmm. i guess the other concern i have with the the no side deck form besides cheating is wouldn't that cause the meta in that particular format to contract a little bit it's definitely going to be very strange, and I have some more thoughts about it, but just to keep it lightly, I think that, uh, you know, kudos to them for making a change to try to prevent cheating, but uh, we don't think it will prevent it that much. And, but, and yeah, I do think it's going to have some adverse effects on the meta because it's going to lead people to want to, um, you know, play against meta decks differently now that they don't have the ability to add in decks, uh, cards after each game. So they're, they're going to definitely, like I said, the main decks of a lot of decks are going to change. 
the optimized deck list for a lot of decks are going to have to change because now there's never going to be a side deck, and a lot of decks are going to be good that weren't good before, and a lot of decks are going to be bad. Uh, but that's going to be only the DLM events, and I guess the power rankings are going to stay side 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 deck, right? Yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing there. So I guess what it comes down to is we feel like uh, we've got it under control as best as we can, obviously. People are always going to cheat in no matter what format, but we don't feel it's enough to change what we're doing. Um, I don't think it hurts the integrity of our events. I don't think we we have rampant cheaters. We we just caught someone this past week, right? Yeah. Uh, that didn't unside deck or something like that going into the next game. We caught someone. Uh, so I I... I don't feel obviously there's going to be cheaters. There's going to be cheaters that get through all the time uh, in, in any format, but anytime we can catch one, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll expose it. And it's a perma ban. It's like, you yeah. know, there's, there's no, uh, well, I mean, they can appeal, but let's face it. You're out of here. You're not coming back. Okay. So um, I, we didn't feel it was enough to change the event or the style. And we want to keep it so that as many people can play, because personally, I feel like the format's going to, going to contract a little bit you know because it's uh it's like oh this 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 uh deck isn't going to be able to play as well because i can't side against something you know like this this particular deck counters me all the time i can side against it and it makes it viable that i can play in this tournament and if you take that away from decks i think you're just going to see a smaller and smaller pool of decks so i think it's important to be able to keep as many people playing in the format as possible and if that means we have to expose some cheaters and get them out of here then that's what we got to do to keep them uh keep it going yeah so tldr we're staying side deck if you want to play side deck events keep it here at dual links entertainment get in the discord so you're able to sign up for those events as soon as the links for them are posted and yeah yeah i think that's about it i think I feel good about it. I feel good about it. Now watch the next battle phase. It's just 172 people cheating. That's all it's going to be, 172 people cheating. Oh, God. Just to prove me wrong, just so they can be in the comments. Circus, I was yeah. cheating the whole time. I won the whole thing. I hope not, but yeah. So if you guys do have any questions about it or any arguments either way about it, I'm sure it's going to divide the community into two groups, right? The side deck and the no side deck. It's yeah, going to be like sure. uh, Team Daenerys and Team Cersei, right? Oh, gosh, yeah. Team Ketchup, Team Mustard. We'll see how the cookie crumbles after one week of the division. So Yeah. But, hey, it takes all kinds. It takes all kinds. That's what I say. It's true. All right. So I hope you guys have a little bit better understanding of what we're doing and why. And even if you don't, just ask us what's going on. We don't have a problem with that at all. All right. So we're going to see you next time. I'm Circus. That's Kamel. Peace out, guys. See ya.